Hi. In this video, we're going to be showing off uh, virtual motion capture using Godot. All right. So let's create a new project uh, in the temp folder. We'll just call it uh, you know, VMC uh, uh, animate, animation test. All right. So. We'll start by bringing in the uh, the VRM uh, importer asset. Turn off a few of the uh, unnecessary files. I don't need the icons or the uh, some of the readme's license file or uh, samples. So we'll just have the uh, the two add-ons that provides. And also import uh, the Godot VMC uh, tracker uh, asset that's also available on GitHub. So now let's go into the plugins, uh, turn on the uh, VRM uh, assets and the, uh, the VMC tracker. With those on, there are some extra options in the general settings for configuring the uh, Godot VMC tracker. So these include the names of the trackers and position mode, which will set to calibrate. So the position of the avatar will be uh, tracked on uh, first scene. So let's create our main scene. Just save this off. And let's set it as the uh, the main scene. We'll give it uh, a sun and an environment. And let's also give us a mesh for the ground. So just a basic uh, uh, quad mesh. Make it, I think, 8 by 8 meters. There we go. All right. So we'll save that. Now we just need an avatar. So let's run up uh, Vroid Studio, which is a free download. I go and pick a, uh, a template model to create. You can customize it if you want. Uh, pick different uh, hairstyles. Uh, well, let's uh, let's just go with one of the basic ones. There we go. Uh, tweak the body. Uh, let's just pick an outfit. There we go. Something stylish. And uh, we'll just export this as a VRM file. So it requires you to enter some basic information, so the name, basic info, and we'll let everyone do anything they want with it. Be fine. Takes a few minutes to bake the data. Well, a few seconds actually. And now let's go and save the uh, the file. So we'll create a new uh, uh, assets folder, and we'll just uh, drop our, uh, our test avatar uh, as a folder by itself. Right. Go back to Godot. It'll import it, but we need to do a few tweaks on the import. So let's open up the VRM, pick the skeleton, and let's do bone remapping to the Godot skeleton, uh, the humanoid skeleton. So we'll create a node for uh, the avatar. And 
Let me drop this in there. We need to make it uh, editable so we can pick the uh, the skeleton. And now we'll add an XR uh, body modifier to drive the avatar. So we need to copy the name of the body tracker from the project settings. And we'll put that in as the tracker that we're going to use to drive this body. And we pick a target skeleton of the avatar skeleton. And yeah, we need to have a camera for this. Otherwise, it's not going to see too much. So bring the camera up a bit, position it in front of the avatar. And we'll flip the avatar around because we don't want it facing the same way as the player, we want it to be facing towards the player. So I've got a copy of XR Animator, which again is a free download. Uh, I'll put a link in the video to it. And I'll just kick that off. The, uh, start the camera using my webcam. Start uh, uh, tracking of the, uh, the full body. There we are. There's my ugly face. Hey. And oh, yeah, let's actually turn on uh, VMC packet generation and let's see how this looks. All right. Basic motion. Now, if I move my mouth, absolutely nothing happens because this character doesn't have uh, um, the standard 52 uh, face bones for you know facial uh, blend trees for moving stuff. So we get rid of this avatar, and I have one that I downloaded earlier, which happens to have the AR kit 52 uh, blend shapes in there. So. I'll we'll copy this into the test avatar folder. Again, we need to uh, do the skeleton retargeting. So pick the skeleton, give it a bone map of again the, uh, the standard humanoid uh, skeleton. We can drag that in. A little bit slow there. Yeah, right at the top. All right. Again, we need to make it editable so we can pick stuff. So, and we'll point this at uh, the new skeleton. We'll also now add an XR uh, face modifier to move the uh, the face blend shapes. So we we'll go to the project, grab the face tracker name. Set that as things drive the uh, the face, and we'll pick the body as the face. So the reason we pick the body mesh is because the body mesh is the one that actually has the face and all the face blend shapes. All right. Save the scene and let's see how it looks. Okay, there we are, and my mouth is moving, and there's my eyes. All right. Well, thank you.